So if you've ever tried to install one of these 1602 LCD units, um, you'll find, and here's a demonstration, I just got a piece here, when you go to put it in, it does not sit flush or level. Mainly because we got solder points right here, which stick up. And then here, um, I'm not quite sure if that's glass or plastic, but it's part of the, um, the under the lighting for the LCD screen, and that sticks up. So when you go to mount it, your only option really is to put some kind of washers in there and space it out somehow. Well, that is really a pain. So I came up with a better way to do it. I designed and printed out this spacer. It simply goes on like so. And now it'll mount perfectly flush level. You don't have to add any washers, nothing. Just like that. The holes are already in it. Um, I did make them a little on the small size. They are just a tiny bit smaller than the, um, the holes on LCD, but they can be drilled if need be. The, um, the little um, plastic or Teflon nuts and bolts that I use to attach these generally are a little bit smaller, so I just made this smaller. keeps it from slopping around. But, uh, I left this open right here so that you can run your finger across and if anything is sticking up a little too far you can just take your snips and snip them off. As you can see this has the, uh, the I2C board on the back but if you soldered the wires in if you weren't using the I2C this would still work and just make sure you know if you can feel any of them snip them off. All there is to it. Um, the file for this is uh, just look in the description below. You'll find a link. Um, I'll have the file on Thingiverse. You can get it from there. <clears throat> and uh, don't worry if you don't have a 3D printer. The 3D printers are so popular now. I mean, if you don't have one, there's a good chance you know somebody that does. And if you don't, by chance, know anybody that does, there are places you can go. Um, even some libraries now. You can go and do 3D printing, so you could check that out. Otherwise, this is printed in draft mode. Um, it took less than 20 minutes, so if you did have to pay, there's lots of the old copier places now have a 3D printer in there, and they'll do it. Um, it's going to cost a few bucks, yes, but I've looked. They don't have these on eBay. Um, if you would like to see me actually put some of these up for sale on eBay, leave a comment. If I get enough comments, I'll print some out and put them up on there. And um, I would probably have to do them in packages of a couple to make it worth doing. But uh, otherwise, Thingiverse as well, you can go on there and you can order, have them print it and mail it to you. But this works great. You just put it on there. It sits flush. You don't have to mess around using washers or anything. Everything's good to go. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us here today. Um, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. And once again... Look in the description below, you'll find links to Thingiverse for this project on there, and you can download the files for printing out on your 3D printer. All right, thanks for joining us here today, and have a great day.